Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another thoughtful Thursday. For those of you who are new to my channel, we kind of alternate uh, days of the week and we do different things. So for today, Thoughtful Thursday is basically um, my design a couple of my design team members and myself. We create a card that is meant for someone in particular, like someone that we actually have to mail it off to. Um, so we figured this would be perfect, you know, for we haven't mailed something to someone that needs something. So I thought this would be perfect. So I needed a happy birthday card. So what I am using today, I'm using this stamp set called Script Words. Um, and this is just one of the smaller sets that I have. One says happy birthday, congratulations, and then let this is let your and then you put dreams take flight okay that's just a smaller stamp set that I have um, and then I'm using my little uh, more stitch more stitch rectangulars uh, dies um, I'm using two of them from that and then I'm using my stitched circle balloon dies and I'm using the smaller one in this set okay so I have it all set up here in my misty so we're just gonna go ahead and just quickly stamp it I'm just using some archival ink. Um, actually, you know what I'm thinking now that I'm thinking about it? Hmm. And you know what? It's okay. I'm just going to do it before I change my mind. I was thinking about doing it in a different ink color, but you know what? I'm not. I'm just going to go ahead and just do it in black ink. So this way, the happy birthday portion could actually stand out. Now, I need to... I had re-inker for this pad, this little ink pad, but... I think I threw it away by accident, so I might have to ink it up a few times. That's why I'm using um, my Misty, just in case I have to do that, because I may not get a clear impression the first time, only because my little ink pad is running out of ink. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and just go ahead and stamp it on here. Let's go ahead and check it out, see what it looks like, see how it's it's definitely, I'm going to, it probably looks good to you, but not to me, <laughs> and I like it to have a, like a nice crisp stamp image on here, so we're going to go ahead and ink it up again, even if I have to do it a third time. Um, I need a really, if I can't find, I have, like I said, I have a feeling I threw it away, because I threw a whole bunch of stuff away the other day, and I don't know, I kind of have a feeling that was in there. I don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes that happens, you know, when you're trying to hurry up and clean up. You don't pay attention to what you're doing. Okay, so this should do the trick, actually. I just want to make sure I press it down really good. And that's perfecto. Okay, so let's go ahead and let me put the cover on this really quick here. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and just quickly clean this down pretty fast. I put it away because my mother helped me. She came and helped me organize all of my stamps because you should have seen it was a nightmare. I had stamps just all scattered all over my desk. They weren't in their packaging. <laughs> oh yeah, it was crazy. So my mother helped me organize them. And I had a promise that I wouldn't that I would I wouldn't just throw stuff around. I would put it where it belongs. And she even put like all my dies in alphabetical order for me <laughs> and then all the stamps by addition so as soon as I'm done I have to return this back where I found it okay so let's go ahead and okay let's go ahead and put our card together so we are going to go ahead um let me just grab the card stock here I want to go ahead and put this on um I'm going to layer this on blue because the person I'm sending it to, these are their favorite colors, this blue and orange. So let me go ahead and just take off the backings. And yes, I put a lot on here because I don't, I always have that fear that if I don't put enough adhesive on that when, it, because trust me, when I, for only reason why I always afraid of that because when I first started making cards, I would barely put anything on and the person kind of wouldn't tell me that their card fell apart. I one time when I went to their house and I saw the card I gave them, yeah, I wasn't together anymore and I was like, oh, that was definitely embarrassing. <laughs> so now I know better, lesson learned. I put lots of stuff on there. So when you do send it to someone, it could last forever. <laughs> 
Okay, so let me... This stuff is like really sticky. All right, I kind of don't care for this one too much. But I'm just trying to use it up. So because I do have it, I don't want to waste it. Okay, so we are just going to go ahead and try and just center this on here the best we could. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that same tape behind here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just quickly put this behind here. I'm not going to have you watch me do this. Let me just do this really quick here. Okie dokie. I went ahead and I put the adhesive behind here. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of center this here like so. And then all we're going to do is simply add our balloon. I mean, so seriously, a very simple card. And I'm going to get some easy pop dots for this. Because I don't want to, I was going to use that other one, but that one's kind of, it's a little hard or, I don't know, it's just too sticky. So let me go ahead and put that on there. Now these are so much easier to work with. I wish they had these in bigger pieces. Okay, I think they're called scrapbook adhesive. I think that's what they are. Oops, let me take off that little extra there. Okay, perfect. Um, I got something on there. I don't know what that is. Let me see. I don't know what that is, but you know what? Since that's not working, what we are going to have to do, we are going to just add some sequence to this, of course. So that's going to cover that little. I'm not sure if you could even see it or not, but... Um, oops. <laughs> Sequence is falling through my fingers. Okay, yeah, that little thing is just going to way bother me if I don't cover it up. Alright, we're going to put one there. And you know what? Let's go ahead and put one on the balloon as well. Yeah, let's just... Hmm, should I put a bigger... Let's put a bigger one on the balloon. We're going to do something way different. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna have a bigger one on the balloon. I don't, that one looks kind of weird. Hold on. I don't like when they sit sometimes, like when the sequences don't sit flat. There we go. Should I just put three big ones? Hold on. Very indecisive today. Yeah, you know what? Let's, yeah, let's do something different. And let's just use the bigger ones today. Um,. Yeah, let's just leave it just like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just adhere the little sequins down using my multi-mat, um, that multi, I always forget what it's called, um, the multi-medium matte adhesive because that works the best for the sequences that they stay. Okay, everyone? So that's it. That's it for my simple card today. The reason why I'm doing simple cards lately is because I always get requests because a lot of people who are new to my channel are actually new to card making in general period and they want to see more simpler because sometimes you remember how I used to make my cards I used to just go all out I mean I'm still going to do that but I've been getting a lot of requests lately for like the last month for simple cards so that's why I'm kind of keeping it simple so this way they could see how you could use my products you know in different ways and throw something together like quickly and it can be really cute and it looks like you did a lot to it when you really didn't okay so that's the reason for the whole simplicity I have going on right now okay everyone so that is it thank you so so much for tuning in um, don't forget to join us on Monday because can you believe it's already the time for our new release it's the third week of the month and that's when you know that's when I always release new items so I'm super excited because it's a fun release and I cannot wait to share it with all of you okay so don't forget to join us back here on Monday super early in the morning for our first day of Sneaky Peaks, which will be on Monday, uh, November 14th. And that's it, everyone. Don't forget to visit my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing design team has for you today. And thank you so much for tuning in and have a fabulous weekend. Bye-bye.